In many ways, Jeff is a kind of ideal representation of what ought to happen in higher education. Jeffrey Chown is a cast of characters, mentor, charismatic teacher, scholarly film critic, NIU ambassador, documentary filmmaker, and tireless colleague. I always am learning new things. I continually challenge myself to uh, teach new courses, to try out new things. Everyone can have their own valid points in a discussion, and when a question is asked, it's not, there's not one person saying you are right or you are wrong. Everyone's idea is valid, and to have confidence in your own opinions and what you think. I always want to be surprised by my students. I always want to hear the details of what they're saying. I always want to respect what they're saying. I might totally disagree with what they're saying, but I want to see there's something that they're saying that I need to deal with and to share with the other students and to make part of a dialogue. Chown is not only a film scholar, but a filmmaker. By collaborating with his students to produce Ken Burns-style documentaries, Chown provides them with work experiences that complement classroom learning. It's been interesting watching him change from a professor like all the rest of us who did our scholarship and research because we had to to get tenure, to someone who really found his way out of, of traditional cinematic scholarship, academic research, um, into documentary filmmaking. The first film was about the history of DeKalb. I talked some students into taking a semester to kind of research barbed wire, interview people, look for images of it, and we created this film called Barbed Wire Pioneers. Because he has experience with making a film, I feel like that carries over to his teachings in the classroom about uh, how we better understand these films and the hardships and the experiences that the filmmakers go through. If there's a linking theme in the films that I've done, it would probably be history. When we did DeKalb Stories, we looked for other stories besides the barbed wire story. My last film uh, that I directed started out to be a film about uh, uh, Lincoln and the Frontier, but as I got going in it, uh, I got interested in uh, the Native Americans who were here and were pushed out of northern Illinois, so we got interested in the story of Black Hawk, and the film went from Lincoln and the Frontier to Lincoln and Black Hawk. In 1991, inspired by a year as a Fulbright Scholar in Ireland, he founded NIU's Media and Culture Program at Dublin City University. Now one of NIU's oldest and most successful study abroad programs, Chown considers the chance to share his experience and expertise in Irish history, politics, literature, and media as one of the major joys of his career. The question of what is Irishness is, in many ways, really organizes the, the work of this course, and it's one of the things that, that students have valued. By keeping it somewhat flexible, we're able to hear of like a poet like Seamus Heaney or a filmmaker like Jim Sheridan will drop by and so we've, we've had uh, you know terrific success with having a different activity every year. He introduced us to a bit of Irish culture which is where you have to have a party piece. Some people write poems, some people sang songs, some people recited uh, toasts and I think that that was interesting. He brought that side of Irish culture out. Chown's commitment to engage and collaborate with his students has been a major component to his professional endeavors and reveals both an inventive and energetic spirit. I think uh, working with students gives you uh, vivacity and energy that is catalytic. In a way, I think he's probably learning as much as the rest of us are, and that's probably why he's so excited about it all the time. I see education as kind of an adventure, and uh, hopefully the students want to get on that adventure with me.